probably for 40 some years. Maybe 45 maybe. I've been tying my shoes wrong. I never really learned the right way. As a kid I remember trying to learn the uh, the kind of the thing around the thumb and I just I just never got it. And so my sister, my other sister kind of pulled out this piece of cardboard that she threaded through some laces and taught me how to do the way I've been tying my shoes ever since, the kind of the, I think it's the butterfly, so you know, you cross over these, you do the two loops, and then you, uh, you pull them tight. That's how I've been doing it for years, but, um, my shoelaces are always coming loose, and, uh, it was only through some things on the internet, uh, that I learned about the weak and strong forms of the, uh, of the shoe tie, and uh, basically, I've been doing a granny knot for all years, which is the weak form, and not getting the strong. And so, I was thinking, how could I reverse the way I've been doing this? Because I've been doing it wrong. And so, um, I thought about, like, you know, I do my normal thing here, and then to do this, I sort of have to almost, I have to figure out how to do the top backwards, and just like my muscle memory won't work. And so I came up with an ingenious solution is to concentrate first on the bottom. So this is like the way I've always done it. So uh, like this way. And so that's wrong. So all I need to do is like start off doing it the way I normally do. Then I'm going to reverse it. Which you can see I'm still having trouble doing. So I'm basically changing the direction of the bottom knot. And then I can do the top one in the way my muscle memory works. And uh, and this is the strong, you know, knot form thing. So when you, you pull it underneath or whatever, um, this is a stronger knot, and it's it's been working. So uh, I'm on my way. The next 45 years, I'm going to be tying my shoes the right way.